Hi, I'm Laura and welcome to Heart Driven Tarot for this week's tarot reading on what you should focus on, where you should put your energies to make the most of this coming week of September 25th, 2023. I hope you've had a good weekend. I will say that last week I had one of the most memorable experiences of my life, especially in terms of hearing a speaker. Jane Goodall, the, the renowned, what is her specific term? I've forgotten her specific title. She studied ch chimpanzees in the wild for many, many decades. She is a phenomenal speaker. She's 89 years old and travels 300 days a year. Can you imagine that? And she was just such a great storyteller, shared her upbringing, the major influences in her life, the synchronicities that happened, and how she is just has loved her life and she wouldn't change anything. If you ever have a chance to hear Jane Goodall speak in person, do it as soon as you can because she is just wonderful and at 89 years old she's still doing it I'm going to choose three cards and I will lower the camera as requested by one of my friends that you like to see the cards being shuffled and then doled out so what are the three key areas or energies particular focal points that you should address this week. Let's see what's not my setup here is a little bit tricky when I lower the camera. All right, I've selected the three cards there. And oh, I was going to do one other thing. Okay. Well, there we go. So card number one, I'm reading them this facing myself, and then I will just lay them out and then I will explain each one. First card, oh how nice, the Ten of Cups. It's the first card, an Outlook. Second card, Nine of Wands reversed. And the third card, whew, the Devil card. All right, I'm going to raise the camera. Let's see how to get this going. All right, so card number one, and let's look first though, actually looking at all these, they're all, see, there's card number one is a 10 of cups, and we've got a nine number, and then the devil's number 15. So 10 of cups, well, this is a card that people usually smile when they get this card in reading because it's such a joyful card. See these 10 cups in a, 10 cups in an array of like a rainbow. We see a man and a woman, supposedly husband and wife, likely, and a child, two children rather, likely a boy and a girl. So we get the sense of family unity, family joy, and have arrived at a particular point of their lives which they were hoping for, a happy point. That's a point of celebration. They're all looking up, extending their arms up in the air and saying, oh, we've arrived. Perhaps they have their, their dream home. And all these cups are in that wonderful array of a rainbow. And what this suggests to me is that this week you may be able to look forward to some type of celebration a completion of a cycle. Tens are the end of a cycle, beginning of a new cycle. And especially in the terms of how you're going to feel, you're going to feel that something's concluding in a very positive way. Something's, or you've achieved a goal. Something in that realm is likely to be in the works for you this week. And that's the energy, or it's the energy you can work with this week, is to look forward to something succeeding, something coming to successful conclusion. Now the next card is the Nine of Wands went upright. It looks like this and the wands are the fire element relating to passion and purpose, just that fire energy, that drive when this card pops up, it's often people don't like getting this card in contrast to the Ten of Cups. Because you see this individual, he's looking very wary, he's looking askance, as if he's looking in, to his side 
and he, he appears to have been wounded or through some trials and tribulations through the battle, but he's still standing, he's firm, and typically this card is associated with prevailing, you know, prevailing through a difficult situation. And given that it's reversed, it suggests to me that there may be a situation that has been challenging, that you've been wary of, that you've, it has been just a difficult situation to endure, that that's on its way out. And that would make sense with the Ten of Cups this week being a time of celebration. Perhaps you've been through some hardships, some battles, and have been wary, but now's the time you can let that all go. It's on its way out. And then, now for the final card, drum roll with the devil card. A lot of people don't like seeing this card popping up. It is a major arcana card, meaning it has considerable weight in the reading. It has an archetypal energy. And the devil card, as we see here, we've got the Adam and Eve-like figures who are chained to the devil. And then he also has his arm raised almost like a stop sign saying stop this is stopping here right now but given that the you know and people can see this as a negative card when it comes up but I think and it does carry weight more weight say than these minor arcana cards however for me I feel that this is suggesting that some difficulties some major difficulties that you've been through are coming to a head and that even though you feel like you've been chained to them chained to the situation these chains are chains are loose they're not these people can get out of these chains they're you know they could even put their head through them I think they're that loose enough to do so so I think what this is is it's almost like a stop sign saying stop whatever you think that you have been hindered by chained down by anything that you felt has stopped you in your tracks doubts fears etc the devil in my particular opinion I don't believe in the literal de devil the devil to me always represents the negative side of the ego the all that that doubting voice that inner chatter that mental negative inner chatter that makes us doubt ourselves well I feel that this is just coming up, the devil has come up to remind yourself that you don't need to heed that voice. You're not bound to it. The chains are loose. You can let go. Just make a determined decision to let go of that nagging voice of the ego, anything related to that. The chain, even though it's, they, it looks intimidating, this devil figure, it really is more of an illusion. That's what's coming to me intuitively. So this week, I would say, is a good time to start celebrating, or at least if it doesn't happen exactly this week, is to get ready for that celebration, that there's a conclusion of something that is propelling you forward to the, exactly where you want it to be, and that, as such, the times of difficulty and of being wounded and all that are on its way out and that this is just a time to recognize that any difficulties you've had and they seem so overwhelming I know I've experienced that myself were really just the illusion of the ego and that's just a loose chain that you can easily dispense with I hope this reading has been helpful for you if you've not already subscribed please hit the subscribe button. And until next time, remember, illumine your mind, inspire your life with tarot.